have Wes joining me today. Um, this is a glute ham raise. Um, this is a version of a glute ham raise. You can do this on a GHD uh, or you can do it on the ground here. And this is the partner one that we usually have in warm ups or just as skill work. I'm going to use an ab mat for my knees. If you have a go mat or if you have any sort of pad to put on your knees, it helps a little. Or if you want to be super badass, I guess do it with no pad. But uh, pad helps a lot for the clients. I'm going to put this down here and uh, I'm going to go down, go on my knees here. And Wes is going to be my weight. He's going to hold down on my ankles here. It's a little. Uh, close quarters, but your, your clients will be fine as long as you don't make it weird. Uh, from here, you're going to ideally lower yourself down completely flat. So keep the body completely flat, and you're going to go as slow as you can, but try not to tear a hamstring. Go oh, dear God! And then you're going to use your hands uh, and pop yourself up. Now, ideally, I'd be able to go all the way down and come all the way back up without using my hands. And there's some amazing videos of guys online doing this, but uh, I myself can't do it. So go as far as you can, obviously without tearing your hamstring. Make sure people's hamstrings are nice and warm before this, and uh, use your hands as much or as little as possible. When you're coaching it, make sure the clients don't poke their butt back and end up doing this. Try to keep that whole body nice and straight, and press yourself back up. When you're partnering people up, partner similar sized people. If you partner a really big person with a little, really small person, you end up for a weird switcheroo when they're needing to apply pressure to the ankles. That's the uh, glute ham raise.